Yes, it's Washington, D.C., June 2010. Big things are happening here. And of course, by that I mean Supreme Court nominations. Feh, no. I'm talking about ALA, the American Library Association's Summer Conference. Here we are at the American Library Association Conference, Washington, D.C. Weather's a bomb, 116 degrees outside. ALA is where the big children's literary medalists are awarded and celebrated. You can hear more about that on my podcast at brainburpsaboutbooks.com. But now you get to hear what the big honchos in the industry answer to my latest question. If you could get a job working for any character in Kidlet, who would you want to work for? And what would your job title or description be? I would work for Pa Ingalls in the Little House in the Prairie book, and I would make sure that the horses were groomed and fed and happy, and Pa would really love me even better than Half Pint. To be working in the factory, the candy factory in the Candy Makers by Wendy Mass, because the Life is Sweet candy factory is just a very happy place. We've got L. Frank Baum right here. Hi, Frank, how you doing? When are we going to see a new Oz book? Um, Frodo in the Hobbit Therapist. Because I think he needs help. <laughs> prince for little prince, and I would be sweeping the volcano. I would be a taste tester in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Can you imagine? Dip, taste. Oh yeah, this batch is good. I would have a job for the Hundred Acre Wood, being the chief honey taster, and I got to tell you, I'd be really good at it too. I would work for the Monstrumologist from Rick Yancey's book, The Monstrumologist, even though it would have probably a very short life because battling monsters. I would be Olivia's personal dresser. I would pick Boris from A Billion for Boris by Mary Rogers because I would love to help him spend the money. I think that would be my title, the money spender. Oh, look, I still have an arm. Now, what was the question again? <laughs> I would definitely work for Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory, and I would probably be the new candy tester, although that didn't work out too well for Veruk Salt. So I would work for Harold in Harold and the Purple Crayon. I would make sure that he never, ever, ever ran out of purple crayons, because, you know, if he runs out of purple crayons, then he doesn't have any more life to live, and he's got the best life in the world because he gets to make it up as he goes along. I would work for Scuppers because he would let me swim in the ocean anytime I wanted. I would work for the Sneetchers on the Beaches. I would uh, help them find a great home and work for the environment to maintain that all of our beaches were filled with Sneetchers. I think I would be the bus driver from Moe's books, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, because someone's got to keep that pigeon in line. I have always been a fan of the Lost Boys from Peter Pan. And I would like to not do their laundry, I would like to not clean up after them, but I would be Peter's wingman. I would work for um, the Cat in the Hat, because he really makes a big mess, and who doesn't like making a big mess? Thank you. Hey, well, here we are at DC, American Library Association. Didn't I tell you big things were happening in Washington? I want to thank everyone who allowed me to stick a mic and a camera in their face, especially the people I couldn't fit into this movie. I'm sorry. It wasn't that you weren't good. There wasn't a lame response from a single person. The movie just got too long. In fact, I'm going to end it right now. See you next year in New Orleans at ALA 2011.